Elizabeth Taylor, a legend in her own time. She is beautiful, high-spirited, glamorous, rich, and adored. A life that many of us would envy. And like most of us, she has had her share of life's despair. And when times got particularly rough, she found herself slipping into self-destructive behaviors. And it showed. But then something happened. And things started falling into place. Everything, she says, clicked. You talk a lot about, in this new book, Elizabeth Takes Off, you take off a lot about self-image and self-esteem. So often on this show, you know, I think that if it were not for women's self-esteem problems, I wouldn't have a show. Because the root of so many problems, um, alcoholism, overweight, wife abuse, children abuse, I think the root of most of the problems um, that people face stem from people not liking themselves mm -hmm. and having a poor self-image. You obviously understand the difference between self-image and image, and that is to you what? The difference between knowing who you are rather than what you are. Mm -hmm. What you are is what others perceive of you. Mm -hmm. Who you are is what you perceive of yourself and know of yourself. It depends on how introspective you are. It depends on how in touch with your inner core you are. Mm -hmm whether you really know yourself or not, or whether you uh, go along with what is expected of you. Don't you think it takes time to get in touch with that inner core? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. And I think in, in some cases, you really have to fight for it. Mm -hmm. During all the time when um, you were overweight and um, comedians made a living off of you. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I've read, I've heard yeah. different things and read different things. Uh, I, I heard that um, in an interview that Barbara Walters did, that you said that you were hurt by it. And then I read in a magazine article that w you were co quoted as saying, you laughed the loudest and the most, which is true. They're both true. Mm -hmm. uh, I said that I probably laughed the loudest. Did you really? Because when people do... But I was dying inside. Oh, really? I can believe it. Because when people do fat, Oprah Winfrey fat jokes, every time, even now still, it hurts. And I, I never Don't laugh. Don't you laugh? No, I never laugh. I never oh, laugh. Oh, when Joan Rivers would say, you know, Elizabeth Taylor was wearing a yellow dress the other day. accepted that maybe you've grown up. Well, she's accepted the fact that I'm sort of uh, an adult now. But she, like all mothers, is ever watchful. She's 91 and so sharp, so on the ball. But she doesn't sort of try and guide my life anymore. She thinks you know, I should make my own mistakes. When you were a child working in film, she wouldn't let you go to the bathroom alone. Oh, the studio wouldn't. I had a caretaker, practically, following me everywhere. When did she finally stop worrying about Elizabeth. Do you remember? Uh, I think when I was married to Mike Todd, she realized that I was finally a grown-up girl. She must... You talked about the pain of this terrible mistake of a marriage with uh, uh, Nikki Hilton. And you were very young, and the marriage lasted, I don't know, a year or something. She must have been very, very troubled, as you were. Well, she was, and she read uh, accounts of it in the papers, which were all distorted, about Nikki throwing chips in my face at the casino and slapping me, all of which were exaggerated. But I was in Europe, and she was in California, and it must have been very hard on her. Do you remember when, it, when you first saw her and you said, Mom, it's over, or did, was she gl happy to get you out of this, or did oh. she see it coming? You know, mothers are pretty smart. Did she look at him and yeah, say... Yeah, I, I think she did. But when I made my decision, I went and stayed with a friend downtown L.A. where no one would think of looking at me. And I thought about it for about four days, and no one could find me. And then I made my decision public to my family. Uh, I assume that your mother was your most difficult uh, message, was it? I mean, you didn't want to hurt her. Perhaps not. You didn't want to hurt anybody. But was it hard for you to tell your mom? That, that, that this was going to end, this marriage? No, because I think she already instinctively knew that 
uh, bad things were going on, bad things that I won't even begin to get into. They were just, um, they were worse than unpleasant. As you, as one reads your uh, book, I can't say that anybody would be necessarily dis uh, surprised that your first outing, your first marriage, would not be successful. Let me try and explain this. And I think you may agree. You were really in a very, very strange situation. You were, here you, you are now and were then this drop dead beautiful creature who was expected to create an erotic illusion on film at age 17, 18, 19, I don't know how old you were, with Robert Taylor. 16. 16. You were playing, here you were with this 22 inch waist, very busty, gorgeous, and you were a virgin. That was a rarity in Hollywood, I can tell you that. Uh, but being a virgin... Maybe we should give it to her while she's still alive. <laughs> I fooled him. <laughs> uh, do you wear a helmet when you ride your bike, by the way? You, well, you have to. It's law. Yeah, well, you know, people disobey laws all the time in this town. No, I don't want to get arrested for that. <laughs> Do something major, but not that. <laughs> I want you to be careful. <laughs> you ever worry about falling? Because it's dangerous to ride in this town. No, I uh, ride in back of Larry, and he's an excellent driver. Yeah. He really is. You get to hold on to him. Yeah, well, I do anyway. Yeah. We'll be right back with more Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Shocked. Well, why are they? I don't, I don't know. Maybe it goes back to myths and stuff about, you know, I don't know, big stars or whatever, but, but everybody's talking about how sweet you are. You're still sweet. Well, that's nice. And, and, and let's go back to Larry. When you're on the back of that bike holding him, do you, uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you all go? Do you ever stop and go shopping? Do you ever go to the mall? Yeah, I love to uh, uh, go into, like, supermarkets. I go crazy, and I drive him insane because I'll buy, like... 12 different kinds of breads that I've never seen before because I don't go shopping that often in a mall. But when I do, I cause havoc. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, prior to Larry, did you think you might never get married again? Oh, for 11 years, I swore off it. Uh, but like the alcoholic kind of person I am, <laughs> it's an addiction I couldn't give up. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage, the institution, it must be very important to you. It is. Yeah. I'm actually quite square. Uh, I do believe in the institution. I should be institutionalized at this point. <laughs> uh, because I'm sure you do cause a lot of uh, problems when you go out in public. You know, like Michael wears disguises sometimes. Do you ever put on a disguise? Uh, no, I, well, no. I don't. You've never disguised yourself. Wow. <laughs> well, I put on blonde wigs and sunglasses and stuff like that. And um, then people will say, oh, Miss Taylor, can I help you for your autograph?